the next or the last thing that we should discuss is well how is a um, a channel formed and how uh, does it end so let's go ahead and, and discuss that uh, there's some different forms some different basic shapes of uh, of a channel one could be dendritic if you think of a dendrite the end of a nerve um, it kind of looks like this it's got several different pathways that it might follow uh, some of them come to a dead end where you would uh, you would find a, a, uh, a lake or a pond or something just an end where uh, it doesn't seem to flow anymore um, but that would those are new stems and those would continue to erode until they found their own little path um, to find another waterway to to meet up with um, but then there's this kind of main stem that uh, that the, the water would flow through another one might be radial it starts from a single point you can imagine you can imagine um, the snow cap melting here and water is going to flow down this snow cap, this point, in all, um, in all directions. So that's radial, meaning circular. Uh, rectangular, right, it's going to be very well cut out. Um, this might be formed by land that was previously cut um, prior to the river being there. The surface might be very, very hard. A uh, river is going to have a tough time to erode it um, and it's going to it's going to take the specific shape that was already present um, and then trellis is going to um, kind of look like this where we have our main uh, water flow here and then we have these valleys that seem to run perpendicular to it um, and the water is kind of flowing down through through those valleys in its own little direction um, and making other dendritic or uh, trellis like pathways. Uh, and then at the end of a river, we're going to see something called a um, a fan in many cases. And this is what we would see, let's say, at the mouth of the Mississippi in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, and this is developed when uh, channels that are initially confined uh, reach a point where they, they get to a different slope, uh, they get to a different flow regime, um, and that suddenly causes... That suddenly causes... Um, uh, particles to want to be deposited into this fan-like uh, pattern right here. Um, so here we see that uh, this is a delta and a fan being formed. Uh, you can see it being formed over time. The water would be flowing through this here and we have deposition occurring and over time deposition is going to continue to occur more and more and more and that's because the flow of the water is changing um, the, reg the regime is changing over over time.